This video demonstrates the installation process of Soli's S6 single-phase low-voltage hybrid inverter. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Before installing the device, closely read the user manual to get familiar with product information and safety precautions and check that the package contents are intact and complete against the packing list. If any damage is found or any component is missing, contact your supplier. The inverter is heavy. Be cautious to avoid injury when moving heavy objects. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for easy ventilation and heat dissipation. And avoid direct sunlight. Do not touch the energized equipment. As the enclosure is hot and there is a risk that high voltage generated by the equipment during operation may cause an electric shock. Which could result in death serious injury or serious property damage install the back plate reserve enough space around the for installation and heat dissipation after determining the mounting position of the back plate use a level ruler to ensure horizontal leveling determine the positions for drilling holes and mark the positions using a marker Drill about 60 mm depth with a 10 mm drill at the marked points. Insert the expansion bolts into holes. Align the exposed screws to install the back mount in place. Back plate installation is complete. Mount the inverter. Align the inverter with the hooks on the mounting plate and hang it. Screw the fixing screws included in the package into the fixing holes. Inverter installation completed. Grounding cable connection. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. And ensure correct polarity for the positive and negative inputs. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowed range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Soli's demonstration video for crimping of DC input power cable. When the PV module is exposed to sunlight, high voltage will be present on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire. Before connecting the inputs to the inverter, ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the maximum voltage input allowed by the inverter. The PV modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. Battery connection. This product is compatible with the battery modules shown in the table. For demo purposes this installation uses a Pilinus 3000 lithium battery. For battery installation, please refer to the battery manufacturer's instructions to install the battery. Connect one end of the battery power cable to the battery, and the other end to the bat input at the bottom of the inverter. AC side connection. The AC port has a design that will not allow misconnection. Please connect it to the inverter and tighten the external lock. Connect the critical loads cable plug to the AC backup port at the bottom of the inverter. Connect the grid cable plug to the AC grid port at the bottom of the inverter. Communication connection. Unscrew the four screws of the protective cover. Unscrew the nut and remove the black cylinder. Connect one end of the BMS cable to the tin port of the battery. The other end of the cable passes through the nut and is connected to the BMS at the bottom of the inverter. In the same way, 
connect one end of the communication cable to the meter port on the bottom of the inverter. At the other end of the cable, the black line is connected to pin 9, and the red line is connected to pin 10. The meter is connected as shown in the diagram. Close the communication cable protection cover. Tighten the four screws, and tighten the nuts. If you choose a Solis Datalager, please connect it to the COM port at the bottom of the inverter. Connect the antenna to that antenna at the bottom of the inverter. Power on commissioning. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the AC circuit breaker and battery switch. Close the DC switch. If the DC input voltage is higher than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. The debugging part needs to be connected to the app debugging using the app to do the commission is the most important part of this video. Please can you add? The inverter will start normal operation.